Hey, welcome to Plant Summary Therapy, and today we're going to be talking about the ZZ plant. The ZZ plant has a scientific name, but uh, the name ZZ plant is good enough. Uh, you go to any garden center at Walmart or Home Depot and ask for a ZZ plant, and that's adequate. Uh, in fact, if you give them the scientific name, they probably won't know what you're talking about. In Sweden, I heard from a Swedish plant guy, he's a YouTuber here on YouTube. Um, they call it a wardrobe plant because someone in Sweden, they wanted to see how well this plant will do in the dark and they put them in a wardrobe closet for a couple of months and it still grew. It didn't, it didn't uh, grow fast, it grew white but it still grew and it didn't die. These are my ZZ plants. and. This is a plant for my bathroom. It, it gets very low light. I don't want to buy any artificial lights because I don't want to spend any more energy than I have to. This plant still does well. In fact, it's doing better than my other plants. It has this new growth on it. It looks healthy. It's a large growth. All the while getting very low light. My orchids die in my bathrooms because there's not enough lights and my pothos struggle. This CZ plant I divided off of this plant. I divided it into like three or four plants when I got it. It was in a uh, maybe it was a five or six inch pot and it was uh, bulging so I, I decided to uh, divide it. But I noticed that the CZ plants outside even this plant which was also a small little five inch pot plant is struggling outside. I'm not sure if it senses the seasons, but I do know that Hawaii has been colder than usual. This has been a more colder winter where the uh, temperatures have gotten down to the 60s and uh, touching the 50s. And I noticed the plants outside look like they're doing a little bit, well, they're struggling a little bit more than the plants inside. Um, Every time the plant grows, I repot it into a bigger and bigger pot. This ZZ plant I got a couple years ago and it has always been thriving. Uh, I always left it on the windowsill and finally I, when I repotted it, I finally repotted it in a pot that was too big. But um, this plant does well. I mean, it's you. I don't know how many times I didn't water it. In fact, it's best not to water. These plants like uh, like to be dried out between waterings and like to be dried out for a couple days. Um, these plants I had near the front entrance, and uh, it's been raining a lot, so they've been getting a lot of a lot of water. But uh, they're in fast draining soil. And they've always done well in the tropical rains, except for this winter. I noticed they're turning a little yellow, and I think it's due to the temperature. Uh, but even though these plants are struggling, they're still setting out new growth. Uh, that's a new growth, and uh, it's going to be a new a new leaf in a couple of uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, the plant on the right is from inside the house. The plant on the left is from outside. And you can see the difference between indoor and outdoors. And this ZZ plant I propagated from uh, a leaf cutting. I just found this leaf on the sidewalk and I just stuck it in the ground as a plug. Okay, this little guy is my experimentation where I propagated from a leaf this little guy has a little uh, root ball, a root the size of a garbanzo bean, and it looks really cute. But the problem with that is that that plant has been that size for about several months, probably close to six, seven months. These are my ZZ plants. If you're going to propagate one of these plants, it's best to propagate it by division. The next best way to propagate one of these plants is by stem cuttings. I will never again try to propagate a ZZ plant from a leaf cutting because they take too ridiculously long to do anything. 
The propagation of a ZZ plant is very similar to the propagation of a Sansevieria or a snake plant. You just cut some pieces, make sure the it's growing in the right direction and you stick it in a cup of water. Don't put too much water because then the plants will rot. It only needs, uh, it will only root at the cutting. So just put enough water to cover the cutting and then before you know it, a little plant will grow. In the background you can see some cuttings of Sansevieria, about four inch cuttings of Sansevieria that I'm restarting in soil and they're easy to start in soil but also it takes long. Um, they will root, they will grow, eventually they'll turn into another plant but I don't see any benefits to growing any ZZ plant or Sansevieria by clippings or by leaf cuttings because even though you end up with a cute little plant you're gonna have that cute little plant longer and like with babies they take more care since the pot that you'll be planting them in is smaller it'll dry off quicker so you're gonna have to check the watering I had this bright idea to make all these little baby sense of area and give it away as gifts to friends at work because it'd be portable and easy to care for but I found out that I don't have the time nor the patience to do that I mean in my mind it was a a pretty good idea but I don't I don't have the patience for this and I have a lot of ZZ plants and Sansevieria plants and I don't want to just throw away these clippings that I started so I'm just gonna put it in a community pot because they both require the same things uh, in my uh, potting mixture I have about two parts of potting soil uh, two parts of perlite this is for drainage aeration and moisture uh, one part of sand because Sansevieria and uh, ZZ plant like sand and um, I think about a uh, I don't know if I put the orchid bark in but this is my community plant pot that's um, if these plants grow and I have time I'll divide them and put them in nicer pots but I already have about maybe 12 of these ZZ plants in pots already and I have probably over 10 of these Sansevieria plants, just the uh, green ones. So I'm just going to give these uh, clippings a chance. Uh, I'm going to put it down the hill under some shade. And uh, if they grow, they grow. If they don't, well, to sum up, the ZZ plants is one of the easiest plants to care for just don't overwater it. These plants prefer to be dry and they do well in dry climates. Um, in the snow area where your indoor air is uh, very dry, these plants will do well. Just keep them out of the cold, keep them out of the draft. It can handle all types of low light up to a couple hours of direct sunlight but they will do best in indirect bright light. This plant will do well for beginners and for people who just don't have time to spend a lot of time on plants. Thank you for watching. Please like this video. Aloha.